someone else chased me, and that's what will happen. It isn't an instant fix. You will get other debt. They'll sell it on. Now, the beauty of that is each time they sell it on, they sell it on for less. So if the original debt collector paid £100 for £10,000, or £1,000, shall I say, the next one will pay £50, and the next one, £20, until it's, they're paying nothing. The thing is, they know when it's getting down to that sort of stage, they know that whoever they're dealing with knows what they're doing. And that's why the price drops. Because if the first debt collector couldn't get anything from you, what chance is the second? I've even called them up and put videos about where I've called up, look. You know, the last debt collector that came after me didn't get anything, they sold it to you. What makes you think you're any different? And the truth is they're not. Sure, some of them use more colourful language and they'll say uh, such and such solicitors. Nine times out of ten, these so-called solicitors actually are working with the debt collectors. They're their own in-house solicitors. And they know they haven't got a leg to stand on. Now, here's, there is a proviso. They're also very clever. This is why Margaret Thatcher back in the 80s says, oh, buy your council house. Because if you've got property, they will go for your property. If you've got something to lose, they will go for it. Now, for these sort of things, you shouldn't, I don't know anyone that's actually had de uh, bailiffs come for this thing. Because it's, they can't prove that they, uh, they lent you anything in the first place. So, how can they then take it to a court and then pass it to a bailiff to come and get something when they've not proven that they lent it in the first place? As evidenced by the fact you sent letters saying, prove that I owe it you. In fact, we actually say that, doesn't it? If you can prove you, oh, I owe you this money, I will pay it in full. Now, that scares a lot of people because they go, well, what if they prove I owe it? They can't prove you owe it. 85,000 members will testify that they've never had any proof that they owed any money. Like I say, it is a little more tricky if you've got property. You can still deal with it, but you need to know back to front, inside out what you're doing. Because they will trick you any time, chance they can. Right. I've been quite well known in the past few years because I do, whenever I do anything, I tend to put it out on video on YouTube. You'll see me getting beaten up by bailiffs. Um, you'll see me where I'm talking to the police and pointing out that they're acting criminally. Um, I was in court over a year, a year, a year last November now. Uh, I, I, I was going through town in Nottingham and this dog team were coming by in about 20 cops and all they're doing is harassing people. They've got no right to search you and we even know that the cop with the dog says, oh, he's, he's indicated you're carrying something. Now, this is rubbish. Yet sometimes they may be able to smell something. Nine times out of ten, they, he's indicated you're smelling. And this is what happened to me. They were, they, apparently these two lads were sat on the bench and the dog had indicated they were carrying something. Marijuana maybe, I don't know. Turned out they didn't have it. However, I was giving them, telling them they were wrong and all that until eventually they beat the crap out of me. Um, they hold me down, four or five of them on my back, hands behind my back, handcuffed, and then another one come up behind me, put his knee on the back of my head, and smash my face into the ground. Of course, all the time I'm telling them that they're, um, they're not nice. <laughs> I didn't swear, I must admit, I didn't swear, yes. and that actually was one of the reasons yes. I won in the court case. And when they take me back to the police station, they're going over every ramp as fast as they can to knock me about. It's, it's torture, but, you know, hey... Who's going to report it to? Who are you going to report it to? The police? <laughs> yes, good luck with that. It's like you know, IPCC. The police do something wrong, so you go to the IPCC or all former police, and after investigating ourselves, we found we did nothing wrong. Well, what a shock that was. What a shock. So, getting back to my case. Uh, so, it went to court. Now, these two cops, um, a man and a woman, came in plain clothes, which I found quite surprising. But they came in plain clothes. And as they came in, I cautioned them, telling them that if, if they committed perjury, I would expect the CPS to prosecute them for perjury, knowing full well they were going to commit perjury. The case went on, I cross-examined them. Apparently, this is their version, I was there, uh, uh, not drunk, because they did actually admit I wasn't drunk, uh, I was there, and I was effing this, and effing that, and you effing that, and you effing that. Now, they knew I had...
had my camera on me and was videoing it. The CPS had a copy of the video. It was played in court, not an F word in sight, and I'm talking rot quite calmly. A little agitated because of what's going on, but calm. Uh, then the second cop came in, exactly the same thing I told her. If you commit perjury, I expect the CPS to prosecute you. She went on to commit perjury, just like the first one had. That's what happened. They got nothing done to them, but I did get found not guilty because I hadn't done anything wrong apart from getting a beating in the first place. And nothing happened about that. Um, all this is in video format and you can see it on the YouTube channels. I am a bit in your face to some people because when you realise what's going on <laughs> and you realise they have no power over you, the police have zero power. It's, it's well known, we are ruled by consent. In fact, there's a friend of mine who sent me a video uh, a couple of days ago, I, I just put it out, where a, a cop comes to the door looking for a, a bloke, apparently a missing person. And she points out that, well, I don't know who you're talking about, it's got nothing to do with me. Oh, oh, then he says, what's your name? And she point, quite rightly points out, I don't have to answer any of your questions. He asks again, what's your name? And she again says, I'm under no obligation to answer any of your questions. And then the standard police response comes out. Why are you being awkward? Well, I'm being awkward because I know you've got no power whatsoever. And you're trying, she doesn't say this, but this is what goes through your mind when it's happening. And eventually turns away and scuttles off. What she did, made a phone call. The bloke, the missing person, answered the phone. Wow, case solved. But all about control and keeping you in fear. When you get and do this, I'm not saying do it. I'm absolutely not saying do it. And I'm definitely not saying do it until you've looked at it, you've examined it, you've read what other people get. The best thing you can do is read other people's replies. If you're dealing with like Lau, who are a big Leeds uh, based uh, debt collector, go in the section of Lau. Read what replies they've had. Then if you're dealing with them, you send the, the, the letter on to them. If they do reply, you'll go and say, oh, that's exactly the same letter they sent to thingy. And you become more powerful, self-empowered. It's all about taking back the power. Now, with power, now, yes, this is a nick line, comes great responsibility. And that responsibility is if you've got to do the right thing, which means helping your friends, assisting it. Like with the kitchen. But there's a video we did, we did it last Christmas, there's a bit video there. Um, <laughs> very funny, where the, the cops come by, they're just harassing more than anything. This particular cop comes by um, and he says, don't you feel safe because we're here? Well, you can imagine we all crack up laughing. <laughs> the last person you're going to feel safe around is a copper. And he says, well, you don't seem too frightened, you're all laughing. But yeah, because A, we know that you've got no power, and B, because of what you just said. But educating yourself is the key to winning in this system. Not that you can win, and you don't want to be winning. All we're happy with is a draw. You, you say, oh, something, I say, I don't, but if you can prove it, I'll pay it. If you can't prove it, go away and leave me alone. They go away and leave you alone. That's what we want. So it's not about making money, because some people do see it as make, a way of making money. from these. And if you want to go down that route, go by all means. <laughs> I don't think you've got much chance, but then again, it depends how you do things. Again, education is the key word. Now, there's someone that we all know that used this key word three times. And he, he said his manifesto was education, education, education. Does anyone feel, feel your kids are more educated since that treacherous scum got in? <laughs> or do they feel like they've been more dumbed down? Because I can see everyone has been more dumbed down. And it's... Also to do with the chemtrails, the vaccinations never have vaccinations, ever, ever. Doctors, unfortunately, are heavily involved in the vaccine agenda and the murdering of us. They see it as making money, like, a lot of them now are even falsely diagnosing you with cancer because they get paid more money if they have to use chemo and stuff like that, which is absolutely horrendous and toxic and poisonous. But before I drift off into something else, I would just like to uh, say, have you got any questions? Yeah, I've got one. Um, just 
these discussions, why would somebody else ask you where to take them? Have you ever heard of anyone having to? Or have been adopted. Have you have any idea why? Been adopted. Been adopted. Is that just? There may be other ones, but I was asked this uh, recently. Yeah, well, they, they, sometimes they change your name as well, so that would be a reason for it. Sometimes they don't. And somebody came up who had two birth certificates. They, they were saying about it, and the reason was they'd been adopted. So, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry for having to tell you about your daughter's two birth certificates, but now you know. I don't know why, though. Uh, why? Was that to, to, to hide yeah, their identity so they couldn't be traced? Or that is what? one option, but yeah. also because they'll also set up a separate bond for that person. That's, what, that's where I was, that's the yeah. reason I was asking the question, was it really that it's just said that you may have traced? Right, that. now, <coughs> some of you don't look old enough, some of you definitely do, but we didn't <coughs> used to get benefits from the Dole Office, it used to be entitlements. Now. A lot of these un uninformed celebrities, like uh, him that does that talk show where he gets people fighting with each other. Don't That's it, Jeremy Kyle. Thanks, <laughs> Alcoholic Gambler. Yeah, who had cancer of the testicles. Somehow we've got better because, you know, they might know that there's cures for cancer, but well, that's a separate subject altogether. Um, now he said, Oh, you scroungers, get in. Absolute bull. You know that every, if you're on, the, on, on any of these things, what you're actually getting is the money you're getting, it comes from your bond. You don't get it. It doesn't come from taxes. Absolutely nothing comes from taxes. All the taxes go to the banks who buy your birth certificates for £6 million each. Now, you, you, you might think, why £6 million? Well, over your life, it's estimated that you're going to earn whatever amount, a more than six million. Of course, this goes up year by year because wages usually go up, although they're trying to knock them back down there and send us back to the Stone Age. But that's why, because they then, you do know about why you haven't got your bond, don't you? Yes, no? Right. right. The Seska V Act of 1666, Anyone else know what's famous about that year? Great fire in London. Great fire in London. So while London was burning, they pushed this act through, which said, you have seven years, this is why if you're miss you have to be missing for seven years before your class is dead, you have seven years to fill in the correct paperwork to prove that you are a live, living being. And if you don't do that, your class is dead and lost to the seas. What does the evidence of life form do about that? They never told us, but I have a copy, and if you mail me, I'll send it to you. Um, the, it, it is out there. There's a friend of ours at the moment um, that is doing things that are even scary to me, but she seems to think she knows what she's doing, and she's doing really well, and I'm watching what she's doing, because she has some fantastic successes. Obviously, can't speak about it, because... It's for her, and she's doing it. If she wants to tell you, she will do. So, the Seska Act of 1666 is why you are all dead. Evidence of that? Well, you didn't fill the paperwork in before you were seven. Your parents didn't fill it in for you. They didn't know about it, but that's not that's not their fault. Ignorance of the law is no defence. Is that why you used to be called master? Yes, when you're younger, you're a master. And then you get to seven, you become a mister. Yes. There's four coloured pens there. They each mean something different in this commercial world. Now, if you're filling any government paperwork in, they will say, use black because it's easier for the scanner to pick up. My God, another lie. It's nothing to do with the scanner pick up. You use black because it's this colour of death. You're the dead legal fiction because you didn't fill in the paperwork. So you use black because you're dead. Now I, I use red, sometimes purple and sometimes blue. Red is the colour of blood, flesh and living blood. So you've got to be alive if you're using red. Uh, purple is for the sovereign. Now blue, because we are on the seas of commerce, blue, like the sea, ing, blue is for contracts. 
I know it sounds crazy, when I first heard this sort of stuff, I even thought, maybe I should check myself into some psych ward or something. But no, it's absolutely correct. Right. Has anyone not heard of the four... Hang on. Can I just ask you about the birth certificate? Because um, I've been going to the registrars over the last, certainly three weeks, and asking them to see the live birth record um, in the book. And they won't allow me to have it. And the the registrar is not supposed to have the live birth record. That's supposed to be your doctor or the um, hospital. Yeah, but they won't allow me to see the registrar. They won't allow me to see the book, and they won't give me an uncertificated copy of the entry but in the book. They, they won't. They generally won't let you see the original birth certificate either. But it's what it, what I've asked them again is what what legislation are they working under, or what guys are they working under to stop me from seeing that? Because they won't allow the Photographers to take photos of yep. the. the, the, the it's, it's, it, I'm, I'm asking them now to try and find out because they've got, there's got to be some legislation that they've got to be able to quote to stop me from seeing it. You'd like to think so, but what we found is a lot of times there's nothing there. We just accept it because it's always been that way, and so therefore it must be that way. Right. Okay. So how do you, how do you surrender your birth certificate then? Ah uh, well, <laughs> I'm not going into that one. Yeah. That's what someone. Many others are doing that, and I'm waiting to see the evidence come. Well, it's looking very interesting. Some it's going down a dead road. I, I, people have even said you're going the wrong way, but they carry on. Hey, you've got to, you've got to make your own mistakes. That's how we learn. So, um, do your research, look it up, read. What you tend to find is those that do manage it go quiet because they get, uh, they have to sign a non-disclosure agreement as to how they did it. And if they don't do that, they don't get access to the bond, and the bond is worth millions. And so if they sign that, they get what's known as a black card. It is a card you never have to pay off, not that you should anyway, but it's a black card with no limit on it, and it's yours to use for whenever you want. Now, if you were given that sort of option, all you've got to do is keep quiet. You can see why some of them take it. Coming back to the, the debt side of things, if you look a letter and it comes in one of those windows, you know, so it's, it's see the, you see a name in there and you look in and you go, that's me. Right. First thing I'd like to say, what are you doing poking your noses in other people's windows? <laughs> that's what you're doing. You're looking through a window. And someone else, and I say it's not you because it's not. It'll be after Mister or all capitals. Does anyone understand what all capitals mean? No. Right. Go to a graveyard. Everyone in there is in all capitals because they're all dead. You're all dead, according to them. That's why they send you paperwork in your all capitals name or Mister, because Mister is a C term, uh, meaning very the lowest of the low, basically. Uh, you won't find a credit card, card or debit card that isn't in all capitals. And that comes under a, 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 a Latin maxim of capitus dementio, which means maximum loss of status. So your name in all capitals means you are the lowest of the low. Well done, you got there. That's what they, I didn't say set the system up, they did. That's what it means to them. And by you using it, you're admitting that you're the lowest of the low. I don't even have a bank account. I just don't. I don't want one. I, uh, I, I've probably got a decent credit rating now because it's been one over six years since uh, I went down this path of um, discovery. Um, any other questions before I can move on? Unless this time. Uh, any questions? Uh, a quick one. The standard three letter response, does that apply to all debts? Council tax, is that the same? No, no, right. Council tax is different altogether. Right. Council tax is totally unlawful, and if you want to know why it's unlawful, it's because they classed your property, your home, your house, as a commercial premises. Look up the Council Tax Act, and it's, it's under something called hereditament. Look up that, and you'll find they are classing your home as a commercial premises. And because you haven't wrote to them and says, it's not commercial, it's private, they can send you council tax bills. But even then, if you don't know, council tax bills are a fraud. They hire the courtroom out, and uh, I don't know if 
you phone them. Many of them have phoned up the, the, the courts and asked them. If you go to court, it's like when I was in Crown Court back in January, uh, three week case, I'll tell you about that later if you've got time. Um, in every court, there is a listing of cases that are going on that day. So you go to your court and have a look. If they take you to court counsel, look at the listings, you will not be on it because it's not a court that you're in. They hire the room out, they pay the magistrates and the clerk of the court to officiate a scam. And that's all it is, it's a scam. Then they'll issue a liability order. Except it's not a liability order. No one's seen a liability order. You've never seen notice of liability order. Well, a notice, here's a notice of a liability order. Here's a liability order. Does anyone see the difference? This is a notice. This is a liability order. <coughs> Nobody's seen a liability, but we've seen notice. This also goes to attachment of earnings. If you haven't been trapped with it, it's not very nice, but they don't send out attachments, attachment of earnings. They send out notice of attachment of earnings. And your boss goes, oh, it's attachment of earnings, I've got to do it. And it's not. It's got to go to court to get an attachment of earnings. Uh, if I just write notice of attachment of earnings sent to your boss, I'm sure he would deduct whatever I decided was needed out of your wages and send it to me. Everything they do is corrupt, criminal, has no standing in even their own laws. Now, with council tax, I've got friends that haven't paid council tax for many, many years, and some of the council have even stopped writing some of them because they know there's nothing they can do. The only thing you've got to worry about is vehicles. They will clamp vehicles and they'll take vehicles if they can. If it's, if you, if you, I don't suppose anyone's in that, de in that position here, but if you are, if you've got a neighbour, park it on his drive, they're not allowed to trespass. They're not supposed to trespass on your own property, but they do. And then they get the police down who back them up. But if it's parked on your neighbour's drive, they can't trespass there. So if you've got a friend, neighbour that you're good with, park your car there, they can't touch it. I think the other thing was, is uh, register it to a different person. Any, it depends. Anything if the, any vehicle is registered at that address, even if it's not yours, it could be your, your sons, your daughters, they, they changed the law recently where they can now take them as well. Oh, so register at someone else's address? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's the best way. Uh, there was a bloke that was doing that, I think he was charging something like £12 a year for you to register at his, his address. <laughs> um, it might still be out there, but it, it's, it's far think, easier. I think he's been stopped because... I know people that won't send paperwork out at that address, so I'm, I'm registered with him and the message is really hard. It took me off system for a while, I didn't stop so. Mark, what if you, you are registered with the to keep a professional Yeah. But you've got to receive the same. Well, it doesn't matter, they're not interested in whether you're registered to keep the owner or anything. They're just interested in getting extorted money out of you. And if it means